Hello you guys and welcome to video one in the Junk Journal Your Christmas Series 2019. So in the past couple years I've done other video series um, for Christmas and um, I wasn't really sure if I was going to do a video series this year but I uh, had a couple people ask which I thank you guys that makes me feel um, very good to know that you guys get something, some inspiration um, out of the videos that I create. So I thought in this first video I would actually kind of do like a flip through lineup of the video of the journals and the planner. And actually I have my everyday planner that is my A5 that writes all my notes in it, but I'm I don't have this as part of my my stack because it is something that I use year round and um, it's not really part of my junk journaling which is documenting my, uh, my our Christmas so basically last year I did a um, um, I don't think I have it with me but I did a um, um, little golden book junk journal and I really um, I really really love it it is so cute in fact I'm gonna go get it because I want to show you guys in case you missed it um, what it looks like okay so this is the one that I did last year I used a little golden book um, the nutcracker and as you can tell I got it all sorts of fluffy and full of lots and lots of memories and just all sorts of different types of meat um, mix mixed papers and um, pretty um, like stamping and pom-poms and different papers and then I also like we went to a which we're going to be doing this again which is called the Schmeckin Fest here it's basically <clears throat> excuse me wassail tasting so so yeah this is the little program we got a newspaper that I had cut uh, not newspaper I'm sorry out of magazines this is that uh, Daffy's Diary and so tickets to when we went and saw the Nutcracker. So anyway, yeah, so it's just really just filled with memories um, from our last Christmas. Now, when I say junk journal, I also, this is basically following the December Daily type prompts. I've done the December Daily, which is through Allie Edwards, for probably, I think, since like 2011, I want to say. Um, maybe, maybe a little bit sooner than that. But... Um, some years like this year in particular I completed um, and the I know a couple years I might have I it, it would you know you just never know when the years how they're gonna run if you're gonna have time especially if you have little ones um, I know that seemed like it was really harder for me to complete them at night probably because I was exhausted but now this is the one from 2012 so maybe it has maybe I did it a little bit earlier because I know I have a couple albums my first one is like so um, I did page protectors and um, in, a, in a handmade album as well and so it's really fluffy <laughs> but um, but this is one that I I kind of also followed Chamel's uh, journal your Christmas she sends out prompts that is still an open class that she has um, and I'll leave the link below I hope I remember to do that um, for and this is kind of following those prompts as well but basically you're still doing um daily what what's going on daily but a lot of her stuff she also suggests different types of photo ways to take photos so this was like put you know um do an up close video up close photo with like where it blurs the background so it's really um it's really really fun um to look back and to use lots of wording and writing and and basically just journaling your christmas so and then making to me I love adding all the different elements um, in fact this is one that my daughter and my son drew pictures um, about seeing the nutcracker <laughs> it's funny uh, <laughs> this is just such a joy uh, to come back and look at these um, different ways uh, to journal the activities that you do during the, ho the holiday season um, so this year I'm going to be doing pokies the little po a pokey the okay let me say it again the pokey's little puppies the pokey 
Pokey Little Puppies First Christmas. And um, so I have, I'm going to just kind of show you my setup. I didn't, basically, uh, my, my, my um, friend came over on Saturday. I've been having, a, this one's hooking up, so I think I'm going to have to replace that um, little um, clasp because it's just driving me crazy. It keeps getting hung up in there. But um, she came over, and we basically, she does a little golden book as well, and we just kind of um, sat around and ate snacks and talked and laughed, and then we decorated up some of our pages. So I kind of wanted to show you how I'm going to start. That Again, this isn't one that I'll, I will start on December 1st and it'll run through December 25th. So this is my December daily that I'm going to be using as um, as junk journaling it up is going to be my way of documenting. So I, ha I love this acetate um, paper. I actually it was a die cut. Um, I think it's by uh, Pink Paisley maybe. Um, but I just, I just basically stapled it onto this clear piece of vellum. I love adding vellum in the front. It just kind of adds like an introduction and then you can get into um, the goodies of the, the journal. This is a calendar. Last year I painted one but this is basically one that I printed off of like a free, you can print them out. It's like a free printable calendar and then I just decorated it up with some washi um, and put it on this plaid paper and put some stickers and die cuts. And so I'm actually going to go in here now um, and fill in the calendar because my, you know, with the holidays, everything always just fills up. And so I like to just kind of do at a glance um, of the upcoming, you know, what's what's going to be happening um, for the month. And this is just an envelope that I just cut the top off and made it into like a little pocket. I reinforced it with some washi tape around here. And then this is a um, just a piece of letter paper that you can write a letter on. And I glued the top of that, that envelope over here so it makes kind of like a cute little tab. Um, and then I just added a, um, a gift tag over here just to kind of reinforce it. And then you get to the introduction with the, then I, I, the whole entire junk journal includes the actual book. So this just includes the illustrations and the story along with inside this journal. So I left some pages blank and then I also have cardstock and this is actually a cute, 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 can I say cute again, <laughs> Santa cutout I got from, um, Carrie on um, Instagram, met her through Instagram, um, and she sent me a happy mail, and it was the Santas, and you can change out their outfits, and just to kind of show you, this is, which I'll get into this journal in just a minute, but there he is again, isn't he so cute, oh my gosh, so you can change out the outfits, and I'm going to tell you, she's an artist, this, uh, this particular, um, this girl's an artist, I found her because I was looking her up. On eBay because I actually thought you know what I could do is offer this as a printable you know not just as a free printable post it up on my website but it really is someone's artwork and um, so I can't really distribute it you know because that's the that's her rights to it you know I don't want to do ever do ever ever do anything like that that where it creates you know I'm distributing something that's not mine but I thought it would be so cute to share and I would love to share but um, in fact, I will leave her link below because I did see some of these cutouts on eBay, not eBay, Etsy. Um, but anyway, you can change out his little outfits. He's in his like little red jumper, um, long johns. <laughs> so cute. And then you can change out. He's probably got like four or five different outfits, um, that you can put on. So, um, anyway, um, going to, oh, is there something else I was going to mention at the beginning here? But that's, that's part of of um his little outfit anyway so i just thought it was so cute against that plaid um and then this little guy here which i'm into a little girl because i put a red sparkly bow on her is um my um my friend has a Sizzix, and she ordered um bits and pieces to create these and brought these over and i just thought they were so adorable and i'm gonna show you this little guy here she cut it out of burlap paper 
And then we had those cute little hats. If you ordered one of the kits for me, the junk, these little little golden book junk journals, this little hat is in that kit, that little ephemera pack. Anyway, I just put his little um, overalls on and stuck a sticker there, and I put that hat. Isn't he so cute? Anyway, I'm going to just save him over here because um, I don't know yet where I'm going to put him in my book. So... So like I said, a lot of this, uh, you know, I'm going to fill up from day to day. And then I'm also, what's nice about having it in these rings is if this particular page goes with something else, I can always remove this page and add it where I need to put it. So it's not like, okay, it's in this order. It's got to stay in this order. I like the uh, freedom of being able to move, move the pages around. So let me just kind of go through this. I just added some more. These are some more die cuts. Um, these little hollies are so pretty and sparkly. They, um, that was probably, I think that's from Hobby Lobby. I love holly leaves. I always have. Um, a lot of this is the book. And there's another piece of letter, um, writing letter page. page. See how it keeps getting hung up there. I'm going to have to fix that. Um, this particular page, I just took a paper doily and I cut it in half and I put it on to the two separate pages. This, I know exactly what I'm going to use for this page and that will probably actually be moved up a little bit because I'm going to be teaching a class on how to paint the ornament. Let me see if I have my little... Oh, oh I don't. Oh yeah, I do. Right here. So this is actually done on a canvas, but I'm going to be teaching a class in Houston on how to paint this on a canvas, I mean on an ornament. So I know I'm going to be using this particular page to tell that story because um, I found these adorable um, little uh, packet of, of um, tags from Walmart. They actually had tons of different ones but when I saw the camper I was like oh that's so cute and it came with a bunch of other different types of ornaments as well I mean not ornaments tags sorry um, this is just a journal card that I just kind of added a die cut some washi background and then a couple this looks oh these are two stickers and then um, I included a hymnal page and I did I glue that I might have it doesn't seem like I would have maybe I did glued that maybe I did to reinforce it um, I glued that to the back of of this page here which typically I probably I can't remember why I would do that but I bet it's because this was um, um, probably to reinforce it and you know this may be something I just put a picture of or maybe if we go I know my daughter has a lot of um, music um, events coming up so I can always just kind of add this as a um, maybe put a picture of her playing her tuba and then have this just blank so that's one of the reasons behind uh, music sheets and also because I love um, all the Christmas songs too um, this is a page that I made I just this was an old layaway tag I bought I got this in a um, ephemera pack at a sh show I went to and then I just, I used a lot of this is crepe paper, um, snowflake, uh, cute, 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 um, designs in there. And a lot, of course, a lot of it's pink. So, you know, I love the pink. This is the paper that came in that, um, kit. And I just added, um, some eyelet, eyelet trim on there. Some more cute paper that was in there. And I don't know if you guys remember um, that one of the kits, not last Christmas, the Christmas before, so it would have been December 2017, I actually had a little stamp. And this is the girl that came in that kit. Um, Deck the Halls was the name. So I just put stamped her onto a library card and then just added her as a tip in. Colored her up real cute. This was actually a piece of a, um, I have a desk calendar, one of the big large desk calendars, and this was a piece off of that, um, and I'm trying to think, I love this artist, um, it'll come to me, but you can just basically like stick pictures or stick little ephemera in there, and, um, and that way that I just kind of created a pocket with this pretty scene. 
more of a book. This is another page that I used um, cardstock. I put a snowflake on some twine as just kind of an embellishment there. And then right here, these are little cards that I made with the, again, this was that snowflake uh, crepe paper uh, came in the die kit. And basically, I, this is just a little pocket, and you can, I made them at different different sizes, see they're different height, so that way they kind of all stick out as separate, um, at separate levels here. Whoops, there we go. Kind of turn, <clears throat> turn it to the side. And that was another little die cut um, from that same kit, and then some Rick Rack. Another little page. I love just kind of making little layers of um, layers of die cuts and things like that, just to kind of have the pages somewhat decorated. And I think the rest of it is just kind of blank papers. This was another little pocket. It's a library card with some cute little ephemera in there. And this is a half a half a cardstock. Um, sheet that I put in here and then this is the uh, postcard <clears throat> and I think that's it so it is all ready to be filled up I'm so excited about that so this is my December daily that I'm going to be doing and then this is actually my journal that is my everyday journal this is a personal journal this is where I may use pictures and just like little stories in here but this is where I kind of really just um, just this I keep one of these in every month so this is just kind of the continuation I was a little kind of like well should I keep another one but this is really I carry this with me and I write down little notes in it all the time or as the day goes on I may come across something and be like oh that's so cute I have to put that in my journal so this is really something that I love to keep and it's basically as I showed in November, how I cr how I take an everyday journal and I make it into a junk journal, I did the same thing to this one. So this is basically just the deck the halls. If you're not, you saw her stamp of this cute little girl, and I just made it into a junk journal. This is that same artist. Oh, her name is on here, Susan Branch. Um, I love her artwork, and I always order a calendar of hers every year. But this was a set of note cards. I mean. Um, uh, pad of paper like here's the November one and so each month has its own little pad and you can tell I've had this for a while but I use them all the time and it works out perfect in this size notebook this is a Kahir size notebook and I just basically write a little kind of intro to December like what's going on and those kind of things so um so anyway, I took another one, the Santas, and I put him in there and shine bright using my word for 2019. And then I just added this little pocket in here and these cute houses. And really and truly, it's blank. It's it's ready to be filled up with memories and my little jotting. So this is this is another um, way that, but this is just my personal notebook that my traveler's notebook that I carry with me um, as far as documenting my own just personal things. So. And last but surely not least is my Christmas planner. Now this is on this is basically all things Christmas and I have kept one of these. I think I found my original just the other day and it's like so plain. Uh, back in 20, 2009 I, I bought a spiral notebook from the dollar store and I started writing down lists. And it, every year, then ne the next year came, I came across it. I said, you know, that really helped me keep organized. And so, um, so it just continued. And this is going on 2019. So I've been doing this for about 10 years. And I tell you what, it is the best thing for me at Christmas. So I'm just going to kind of just, I did, I did a video particularly just on my Christmas planner last year. So be sure to check that out. But this is every year I just kind of, I have a little theme like, <clears throat> excuse me, like 2017. I, there's the girl again. Boy, she's just popping out everywhere. Um, and so basically, I just have my to do list, and I'm going to show you exactly what I write down because I've really pinpointed what um, what I'm what I'm doing. So as you can see, I'm just really. It's a list. It's a list making. It's a note. It's keeping up with gifts. It's keeping up with 
this was the first year that I did the um, 12 the journaling I did 12 days of journaling um, and so that was um, <clears throat> that was the first year I did that so it's basically just keeping me on task and on focus for Christmas this was last year's which was nutcracker, nutcracker sweet oh my gosh you guys I just realized the lamp post I really love the lamp it made it it's seen here and it's also on this year I didn't even realize that until just now but again this time I started making stickers with and I really wanted to come out and have them available in my shop the stickers the list and I don't know what happened I just it just slipped my mind until because I just now did this and usually this is something that I have done back in October so next year you guys hopefully I can um, I'll have stickers available but so every year I kind of do the same thing um, I may I haven't added anything I've taken things away but haven't really add anything like this particular one had a junk journal list in here junk journaling but I think it was me actually doing my video series and I didn't write anything down next year's ideas I didn't have anything um, for this year but stuff like buy new lights and things like that are always something that I would write down here so that way next year I would remember that oh you ran out of lights and to go ahead and get them you know that way I have them whenever um, or the lights went out or they didn't st or they stopped working or those kind of things or if I wanted to change colors um, I would make myself a note here so with all that I will show you this year so last year I created this bit little pocket to put like receipts and things in and I thought I'd, I don't even know if I kept the receipts or if I put them somewhere else but I just took them out I mean I didn't have anything in here now and so I thought oh well that works out perfect because it can also be used for this year so I always kind of like to include a pocket I don't know if I've done it in years past but just to have a way of keeping um, keeping little receipts or ideas or anything like that in. So, Merry and Bright, I have my uh, Shiny Bright Girl sticker on there. And this year, I kind of, instead of just um, adding one calendar, which I don't think I even added a calendar. I think I just did dates. I went ahead and, uh, land, excuse me, I went ahead and added two, um, two calendars. So I did November and December. And so I want to go ahead and start filling those in because we're all just kind of um oh I need to kind of cut that wash out because it kind of took up those dates but we can't we can't believe that people I've been talking to like we had a Girl Scout meeting tonight that um the 28th is Thanksgiving and then that fall that Sunday is December 1st it just seems like it came comes like that usually it seems like you have a little bit of time in there but Anyway, and then I go through and I write down the the, the weekends um, that we have. And then I know they're already starting to fill up. Um, so I'll go ahead and fill these in. This was just some of the dates that I had remembered when I was putting this together. And then my to-do list. I need to go ahead and put in my to-do list. And what I do with that is I create little boxes. Um, right here, I just create little boxes and I check those off as I get the project done um, and my to-do list are things like wrap presents and Christmas cards uh, we always do a set up my December daily so I could check but make a Christmas bucket list donate food to the food pantry um, travelers notebook set up it's funny I had that last year too so make cookies um, gifts those kind of things so um, I need to come in here and go ahead and fill that out because that is something like I said I'm it's already I usually have this done in October but I'm a little behind so dates to remember this is not only weekends but this is like important dates for things like band concerts or you know we're gonna be doing like um, passing out um, Christmas cards to the nursing home or anything like that those are the dates that I want to be that I want to put in here so that I don't forget um, you know Christmas parties or events those kind of things so those are this is where I write those important dates at uh, my Christmas card list which I noticed sadly I don't send as many as I used to um, I think it's one because we still stay so enclosed over social media but also because um, 
postage is very high, but I love still sending Christmas cards. So, um, so that's part of that list. And then traditions, I like to put in here, you know, some of the traditions or you can always, um, put in like new traditions you don't want to forget. Like one of the things that we started, um, was I give my daughter a little nativity, like a teeny tiny nativity. Um, she does Advent on the 24th. And so, um, I always put that in here because that is something I don't want to forget, um, to make sure that I, when it comes down to the time, I do find one. Um, next year ideas, I went ahead and put this on to this page because, um, I always think about ideas also being traditions. And so I realizing that I didn't need a full page last year, I just kind of stuck it at the bottom here. The dinners, this is what we have dinners planned. Um, this is Washi, by the way, from Mindy Lacefield. Um, she's got the most cutest. This is from that Nutcracker movie that came out last um, year. She had a whole line of cute stuff, and so I, I had bought that Washi from her. Um, Thanksgiving, Christmas Eve, and Christmas Day dinners. And then the grocery list, which um, that way I can kind of start getting in mind what I need to pick up. And if I can pick up things now that I don't have to worry about. Because to be perfectly and completely honest, this time of the year, I'm not a big fan of shopping. I don't like crowds, um, especially grocery store crowds. <laughs> and I don't want to be at the grocery store on Christmas Eve buying a bunch of things. So um, this is my way of being able to keep go ahead and write that items down and be picking things up if I can it, you know as long you can't be picking celery up for you know in November for Christmas you know those kind of things but you know that's common sense so but um just oh you know what it is too is I'll never forget the year I forgot the um I make sweet rolls every year on Christmas morning and I didn't have any um buttermilk and the recipe I call for called for buttermilk and you guys, my sweet rolls are not the same. And so that's something that I definitely will put on here. Need buttermilk. And so that way I can make sure, oh, I can check it off when I get it. Of course, buttermilk goes bad really, you know, only lasts with a couple of days. And I've waited till the last minute and they've been out of buttermilk. So, you know, it's just those kind of things that um, helps me keep on task or helps me remember um, as I'm going to the store. And this, like, this little book here goes with me everywhere the whole month of December. This is part of my, um, you know, m what I carry with me. So I always have this, this with me. December daily. Um, this is where my, my book comes into play. Like say for instance, if, you know, we have back to back things and I really and truly, in order for me to be successful in December daily, I have realized that I have to do it on a daily basis or at least every other day or, but it has to constantly be done because if not, you get behind and then, the holidays are over and I have a really hard time going back and, and doing mine. Um, so I really, if I'll go ahead and write the numbers in here and I will write down what I'm, what I did that day. Like if we had a band concert, that's what I'm going to document. So that way when I'm going through and doing my pictures, I have, okay, you know, I'm, I'm also documenting my December daily. So I'm picking those pictures up or however you guys get your pictures. I know I, um, use Walgreens, so I'll just go by there and, um, and pick those up on the way home or or something like that so advent um it, we do it every year you know i it's always been such a challenge with advent we laugh me and my friend because she goes i go why did i start this but then the kids loved it but then it would always be so emotional because who's going to do the first box and those kind of things so now it's just brazzes um we laugh because my brother uh, my brother oh, brother which is my son <laughs> Um, he's in college. He's like, I still want my Advent. So last year I bought him a whole like basket full of detergent. This things he could use in college. I said, well, this is your Advent because he's not real big into, he loves to eat chocolate, but he's, he always is working out. So he's not, I don't give him a bunch of candy and things like that. Uh, sending mail. This is where, um, uh, basically I will send mail off like special things, um, to, um, family members, friends, planner friends, those kind of thing, happy mail. Gift list, this is kind of where I fill in like for friends, not necessarily, and family, you know, those kind of things. So um, I'll just kind of make a list of that one. 
Now this is where I get in with my kids. Um, wish list, Christmas list. This is what they would have heard them wish for. And then I make a list of what we get them. And I break that down into their names. Because I always am big on even Steven on things. Things are getting a little easier, I guess you could say, as they get older. More expensive maybe. But, you know, just being together. I, You know, especially for my son, I think him coming home he's always like oh I don't you know don't worry about presents of course I would never but I love having them still open things but this is just how I can keep track of that this was really important when they were growing up as well um, just so I could keep track of what was being spent and those kind of things and that pretty much wraps it up that I was going to see what this was in the end here oh, okay so we had ideas okay so I kind of changed it up a little bit, the, the list, and then I can always add more pages in here. And I think I figured out that the I have either two more years or three more years.